Good morning. I'm Frida. I have a Dollar Tree book haul for you today. I haven't had any of those for a long time because um, I haven't found any great books at Dollar Tree for several months. And I go to several Dollar Trees, so I don't know what the deal was. They're, they were just not restocking or adding new items. So I finally found a few during fall break and I didn't get to make the video because uh, my kids kept me busy and I I feel like um, I want to spend more time with them when they're here because they're at school all the time and, and we get uh, so little time to be together. So this time I decided to, um, I just decided to save my uh, books till after they go back to school and I dropped them off this morning. They were not ready to go back, <laughs> they never are. <laughs> and I miss them, of course. <laughs> but school is good for them, so I uh, want to talk to you just for a minute while I organize. Um, I found some great things. Um, Most of them were very fabulous. Um, I wonder if they're going to have more kinds of books from now till Christmas because I guess they consider books and coloring books and things like that to be um, on the Christmas list. Um, So, I found these, this flash, flash in the pan, spice up your noodles and stir fries cookbook, and that was beautiful, and my kids love noodles, and, and I like stir fries too, so um, I thought that would be that have some fun ideas in it. And I have found the Covenant Kitchen food and wine for the new Jewish table. Of course, whatever wines it talks about are just for information for because we don't consume alcoholic beverages. And we will have uh, to use this book for um, food and recipes and, and beverages will be um, alternated. We'll have alternative beverages. Just coffee or tea, probably. <laughs> but it does have some nice pictures in it. I did see one that looked interesting, but it didn't have any pictures. So it was maybe a Jewish bakery or something. And I, I'm not interested if it doesn't have any pictures in it. So I left it for someone else. Anyway, so it, it looks like these might be potato latkes here. Um, I tr tried that recipe, one of those uh, potato latke recipes from uh, Pinterest before because my kids like uh, to try recipes from different cultures. I uh, wonder why. <laughs> well, I guess because I'm their, their mom and I teach them to be interested. <laughs> but anyway, we tried some that were really good. And I saw this, it says it's a full size pattern sheets and for to make totally amazing bags. And I thought that's wonderful. It has pocket, a, a pocket here. It's got a little sticker there to close it. And then there's this cardboard here, I guess, to keep the pages, uh, protect the pages. 
and there are wonderful patterns here of tote bags and organizers and things. There's an organizer, and I thought this was amazing for someone who has a who has a sewing machine. Look how beautiful! And I know some women who would love to do crafts to sell, and I I I think that they would love this book. If I had a sewing machine, I might like to get in into trying to sew bags. <laughs> I think that would be a great thing because so many people are into uh, making green choices and uh, making bags is a good way to, to be good to the environment and you could use uh, secondhand clothing could, could be washed and used to make bags like this. And it could be all recycled stuff and it would be a very good project for um, for someone who wants to um, make bags to sell. I would like to if I had a sewing machine. I know how to use one, I haven't used one in years. And the last one I bought was uh, poorly made and it didn't last. But I like to, I would like to sew bags. <laughs> okay, this is, uh, I got two of these. Beautiful coloring books. Um, Enjoy a moment of calm, coloring for moms and moms to be. You can see that beautiful, beautiful book. Um, I got two because I just knew that I would know someone that mom to be and want to give it to her. Um, this light is a little bright. Let me push it back a little. That's better. Yeah, I think so. So you can see better without the glare. Anyway, so I got those for gifts. And I got this for gifts too. It's coloring, the coloring planner. It has pictures to color. And it's a planner. And it's so cute to put in a goodie bag or something, or a get well bag. I thought that was so cute. Stress relieving cats. They're mostly cats in there. <laughs> and I found this book, it was called The House of Hidden Mothers, and I thought I would love to read that. House of Hidden Mothers. I'm sure that's interesting. It's a novel and it's by a person called Mira Sayal and and she is the author of another book called Life Isn't All Ha Ha He He. <laughs> it must be a great book. Um, Life Isn't All Ha Ha He He and the House of Hidden uh, I believe I'll enjoy that must be good. I paged through it and saw some stuff. Um, I got this for the boys. It's called Falcon and he's a, he is a Marvel hero and this is a chapter book. Um, I believe my, my seven year old would read this. He's a good reader. All of my kids are pretty good readers. Tepzakia, she struggles a little. I taught my boys myself, and I'm, I wish that I had, I don't know, I can still help Zakia even though she's already in school. I am working on it, but the boys were all, all reading well with, above grade level when they came to, to school, and my daughter started in public school, so I don't know if it's public school doing that to her or if it's just her. <laughs> but she she responds well when I teach her. She uh, like makes leaps and bounds in her learning when I teach her. So I hope that she'll be able to read books soon. <laughs> this one I thought was fun. Country Music Hair.
I thought that looked interesting. <laughs> Reba McIntyre with the big hair. And Dolly with the big hair. <laughs> I thought that was interesting. I saw it a few times. I saw it at a few stores before I finally picked it up. It's good. <laughs> Nostalgic. And I got this kid book. Gustav Gloom and the Cryptic Carousel. I thought that was a nice book for Halloween. It has uh, pictures in it and it's a little chapter book. So that'll be good. And then we have Dear Mr. President, John Quincy Adams, Letters from a Southern Planter's Son. I'm not sure if I had this one before or not. I believe I had one for a different president because that one had a lady writer. And I, I like to read letters that were written to presidents. And this does have some pictures. They're black and white, but I'm okay with that. Because it, it, uh, it's more uh, contemporary of that era uh, that the pictures are black and white. So I will read that. And I, I found a lovely uh, book, Pretty Paper. And it's a Christmas tale, and the book is written by Willie Nelson. Can you imagine? Willie Nelson, a children's book writer. And that was so surprising to me, and I just snatched it up right away. It's a chapter book, and it has, uh, it doesn't have, it has maybe one or two small pictures. It doesn't really have, yes, it has a couple of small pictures, but, but nothing big. So it's a chapter book. And when your kids are ready to read chapter books, this is a very nice one for them to read. Written by Willie Nelson. <laughs> this one is also for children. It's the fifth one in the series. And it's called Escape the Vortex. It's also a children's book. And it's a series. So I, I should look for the others. Because I've done that before at... Um, I found a single book from a series at Dollar Tree and then I ended up looking for more because the kids loved it or one of my kids loved it. So um, if they like this, I will look for more. And I like this metallic uh, cover with the metallic design right there. Um, this one... I love. It's called Weather, Past, Present, and Future. And I think this is beautiful and gorgeous. Um, I just love some of the books I've found there lately. Um, it's hand-drawn pictures and things written about weather. And I believe my kids will enjoy this because... Um, they're fascinated with global warming and I believe they'll be interested with uh, the topic. Interesting, interesting. Great drawings. So nice. I, I felt like I found a work of art and it's, it, it's teaching art. Not just art, but weather. It's by a person called Lauren Redness. And she also wrote a book called Radioactive. So if you see this book, it's gorgeous. And I found a how to draw and paint oil and acrylic portraits. I thought that was great because when I draw, when I was younger, I used to draw sometimes and I love to draw faces. So I would have loved a book like this to, to learn more about drawing faces. And my mom did the same when she was a girl. She has some pictures of faces that she drew when I was growing up. At least she had them and I saw them. So I believe... I would like to get into drawing faces again.
When I find colouring books, I like to draw, uh, to colour faces, and I like to make the eyes unnatural colours. I, I just think that eyes with unnatural irises are cute and amazing. So, I don't know if I'm going to keep this or give it to one of my nieces. I'm pretty sure some of my nieces are probably good, uh, drawing, uh, good at drawing faces and things. I have a sister who's an artist, and she, uh, she has six children now, so I don't know if she'll be have time for this. <laughs> but maybe her daughter draws. I don't know. I'll have to ask. That'll be great. And I got two of these. This one is a, a Christmas ornament. Color your Christmas. And you make and cut out your own ornaments uh, from this book. And I thought these were wonderful because I have Christian friends who, who love Christmas. And I thought that they would like to color and make their own ornaments for Christmas. Or maybe my little niece. Uh, some of my nieces might like it. Anyway, that's the end of my book haul. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you find some of these great books at your Dollar Tree. Keep looking. Um, every Dollar Tree you go to, uh, check the book aisle every time. Because they are always... Uh, you never know when they're going to restock them. And... You are going to find some surprises if you keep looking and checking and uh, never leave the store without checking the book section if you are a bookworm or a nerd like me. Okay, thank you for watching. Um, like, share, subscribe. Have a great week. Our week has started off to be cloudy and rainy and I was hoping for this weather for a long time and I'm just happy because the weather's cool again. It was all um, hot and humid here in Memphis, Tennessee and finally we have some cooler weather. So I am off to enjoy my great weather uh, with my windows open and the air conditioner off. <laughs> so if you like my video Give it a thumbs up, share it, subscribe to my channel if you're new, and thank you for watching if you're loyal to, to my channel. Bye-bye. Um,